In a groundbreaking mission set to unfold on October 14, NASA will send three rockets hurtling into the moon's shadow as it partially obscures the sun. This celestial event marks an annular, or ring-shaped, solar eclipse along a 125-mile wide path through the U.S. southwest and a partial solar eclipse across the entire Americas, bringing a sudden reduction in sunlight. At the peak of this celestial spectacle, approximately 90% of the sun's surface will be concealed by the moon. The primary aim of this mission is to explore its effects on Earth's upper atmosphere. Now, let's delve into what these rockets will be doing. NASA will embark on a quest to identify perturbations, that is, changes within Earth's atmosphere, during the eclipse. They will deploy three NASA-funded suborbital rockets, with each launch scheduled before, during, and after the eclipse's peak. These rockets will gather essential data about Earth's atmosphere, focusing on parameters such as electron density and temperature. Launching 35 minutes apart, these rockets will ascend to an altitude of about 50 miles, reaching the ionosphere, where the atmosphere becomes electric. Here, ions and electrons exhibit variations in temperature and density, particularly during sunrise and sunset. When a solar eclipse occurs, with sunlight vanishing swiftly, it's expected that this phenomenon will create ripples in the ionosphere. As Madhulakagothakurta, heliophysics program scientist at NASA, puts it, this is the first time we have done this because such an opportunity only comes once in about 400 years. Think of the ionosphere as a calm pond, and the eclipse as a motorboat slicing through it. This causes ripples and a momentary increase in the water level behind it. Each rocket will deploy four small scientific instruments, precisely measuring changes in electric and magnetic fields, density, and temperature. As Aero Barjatya, professor of engineering physics at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, points out, rockets are the best way to explore the vertical dimension at the smallest spatial scales. They have the flexibility to launch at precisely the right moment and explore altitudes inaccessible to satellites. Before we conclude, remember that during the solar eclipse, the sun will never be completely covered by the moon. So, always wear solar eclipse glasses to protect your eyes. Ensure your photographic equipment has proper solar filters. The annular solar eclipse will be visible only within a specific path spanning several U.S. states, but nearly everyone in North, Central, and South America will witness a partial solar eclipse. This remarkable mission not only sheds light on the hidden impacts of a solar eclipse but also marks a significant scientific achievement, capturing simultaneous measurements from different locations in the Earth's atmosphere during this rare celestial event. As we look to the skies next Saturday on October 14, we venture into a new frontier of understanding our world, thanks to NASA's groundbreaking mission. If you enjoy our content do not forget to like share and subscribe.